Three signs God is about to take you into a new season. By the way, when God is about to shift you into a new era, into a new realm, there are things that will happen to you. Number one, you notice there's a change of your circle of friends. The people that start surrounding you are different from the ones you are used to. New levels, new friends. In fact, you'll notice some of your friends will start being removed from your life. You notice there are things that are happening, obvious mistakes that will make your friends to stay away from you. And this point is very interesting because you might find yourself in a space of loneliness, in a space of consecration, in a space of just you and your God. Now look at in the Bible, there were a couple of people before they were ushered into a new season, something was happening. They were put in a space of loneliness someone like Moses. Moses was first in the wilderness before he was given a new assignment of delivering the children of Israel. People like Jesus, he was first taken into the wilderness for 40 days and nights at the age of 30. That's when a new season was beginning in his life. Bible says in Mark 1 verse 11, then a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This is after he was baptized. Then what happened after that? Verse 12, immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness and he was there in the wilderness 40 days tempted by Satan and he was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered to him. Number two, your desires begin to change. Some of the things that you loved, some of the things that you prioritized, they stop making sense in your life. If you enjoyed entertainment, if you're the type of a person that used to watch movies from morning to evening, others used to binge watch for a whole night, you start noticing these things are not exciting you anymore. You start having a hunger and a desire for the word of God. You start watching people like Joshua Selman, you wonder why is it that I just want to watch people who are active activating my spirit within myself, my friend. If you are in that point, there's a new season that is being ushered. And at this point, what you need is more wisdom, more knowledge. You can't go to the next level with the same mindset that you have right now. You need now to start investing in the word of God. Now the Bible says, in Luke 24 verse 49, it talks about the disciples that they were about to be ushered into a new season. Jesus is about to go. He's being crucified and now they will be alone. It's a new season altogether. But the Bible says they were told to tarry in Jerusalem and wait for the Spirit of God to come upon them. Luke 24 verse 49, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you endured with power from on high. Number three, your faith starts getting tested. This is where you experience the highest level of faith. Things start happening in your life that require you to make a step in life. You notice you're even experiencing divine miracles just by praying, just by saying a few things, just by activating a level of faith. You notice there are things that are opening, doors start opening because a new season is about to be ushered in your life. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 2, for we also have heard the gospel preached to us just as they did. But the message they had was of no value to them. Why? Because those who heard it did not combine it with faith. Now you notice now you're in a space where you're operating by faith. If you want to have something in your life, you start taking action. You start saying it. You start proclaiming it with your, with your words. You know at this point that your words are so powerful. Whatever you say becomes. So every morning you wake up and you're calling upon things. You're prophesying upon your life. You're saying you're a conqueror. You're looking for Bible verses and you're using them to activate the faith you have in your life. My friend, if you're feeling like this, there's a new season that is about to be ushered and it's going to be a higher dimension, a higher realm, a higher level than what you've been experiencing. Brace yourself for what is about to come in your life.